Hello, guys and gals, and welcome. So uh, today I thought I'd change it up a little bit. Um, I heard about this game. It's got like thousands some odd reviews, and all of them are overwhelmingly positive. So I figured I'd give it a try. Um, it's called Before Your Eyes, and apparently you control the game uh, by blinking. Uh, I'm not really sure I want to do the webcam blinking since I also got my webcam on screen, but because um, I don't think they have like green screen technology built in there, so I'm going to do it uh, to where I control my, my own blinks, I guess. And let me just make sure I got this pulled up so I can see it. Do a double check, make sure the sound's working. Well, we got to go. The intro is uh, very pretty. That's for sure. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Yeah, looks like everything's working. All right. This game is about blinking. See, every time you blink, the game will notice. See how this works? Try blinking on the white symbol. When you see a metronome and blink, Jump forward in time. Keep blinking. No, not forward in time, just forward, I guess. <laughs> Get away, you lucky fowls! It's mine! Well, on. hello there, stranger. Whew. You're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with, or hands to shake with, or nose to look down with. So we're going to have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you that makes any sense. So, if you understand what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. Ooh, well look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there, lost in the waves? I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a a hunch, or what's a better word? Notion? He's got a thesaurus! A better word than that. Ah! Premonition. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. Now, you see that tower out there? The big, scary one? That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper, to be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stir. Now, if she's impressed, I get paid the Bitcoin and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't, well, I eat seagull for dinner again and uh, you, well, <laughs> we don't have to worry about that, because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> no, shut up, you trash birds. Trash hey, birds. It was my fault you were no good. Layabouts. Unsatisfactory. Clock watchers. I got some words for you. Wait, 
<laughs> he called the seagulls trash birds. Sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> Why does he remind me of Beetlejuice? He's like, sorry you had to hear that. Sounded just like Beetlejuice. So sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I want to see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So, just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember. I'm gonna send you there. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not gonna be able to stay, alright? No matter how Every much time you, you like blink, it. You're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. Now don't be afraid, and don't try to fight it. The thing to remember about blinking is, well, it's only a matter of time. <laughs> I don't know if that's even going to work. And just try to enjoy it this time. <laughs> and just try and enjoy it this time. That's right. Enjoy your life this time. Let me say, your life is going to flash before your eyes. Look at that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. What about a baby? Why are you smiling like that? Not just a baby. You must really like it out here, huh? Hmm. Well, I get that. I like it too. Let's go get you some seashells. What do you say? She sells seashells by the seashore. You see that big spiky plant over there? Where? That's called Nagave. Nagave? Eleven years from now, that plant will die so it can give birth to this tall, amazing tree covered in flowers. We'll have to keep our eyes on that one. The day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well. Days have a tendency to do that, I guess. The sunset. Where's the first page of my piece? I can't find it anywhere. Did I put it in here? No. Seagull's got it. Trash bird, trash bird. Trash bird. Freaking trash birds. Stealing stuff. Always stealing stuff. Hey, French fries, hamburgers. <laughs> Look at that! There's your little hand. We have to make him do this every birthday. <laughs> That's a great idea. It won't really be something to see how he grows. I'm only one. Man, the zoom on this thing is cup. fantastic. I got a little sippy cup. Y'all jealous? Look at my little blue lid on my sippy cup. Deep. That's right. It's my birthday. I'm getting presents today. Y'all's just jealous. Oh, you want to play along with mommy, don't you? 
Let's do it. Concertina. I'm sure you'll be better than me soon enough. Bing 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 Oh yeah, splish splash, I was taking a bath. All on a Friday night. Sounds good, honey! Come on, go, little ship. Next week. Brum, brum. Pop the bubbles. Brum, 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 brum. Sounds pretty perfect brum, 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 brum. Yeah, That's right, let's go. Get them bubbles one at a time. Boop, boop. I like this the music. This way, go this way. Yeah. I also like uh -uh, the we got a captain it. pop all the bubbles. Yeah. I can control this ship. Control this ship. It's a magic rocket ship. All the bubbles are belong to me, Captain Boat. Captain Boat! Get that one. What's up, Raven? Playing another game today. Although we're going to play Diablo when I'm finished. Supposedly this game isn't that long. So when this one's over, we'll go back to some Diablo. But right now, I am a ship and I'm popping bubbles and you guys are jealous. That's right. The sound is so satisfying too. The the, the bubble popping sound. Click. I know y'all like the sound. Get that bubble! No, must pop all bubbles. Get it! Get it! Get it! Get the bubbles! No, that way. Chip. Ship, why are you be mis misbehaving? Go, were you running out of steam? Do I gotta wind you back up? Don't run out of steam, boat. We need you. You are the savior of the bubble popping land. You will save us from the evil bubbles. Oh no, it's a big one. Get it, boat. Get it, boat. Ah, we have done it. Father, we have succeeded in popping all the bubbles. And you care not, you're not even paying attention. Who's that? Look at his little face. Oh, they're clouds. What do you think he's thinking about? I think. Maybe. It's my boat! Hey! I'm thinking about the bubble popping boat. Dreaming about my bubble popping boat. You guys are jealous. Do you think he's gonna be right smart? Right. I mean, who said that? Pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean he's going to be necessarily. You're right. No. You're right. Don't talk about me behind my back. I'm gonna be an intelligent little baby. I don't know how old I am, but I figured out no. how to pop bubbles with my boat. It doesn't really matter, I guess. And y'all jealous. Derivative. At least I didn't think it was. What am I drawing? Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just? <gasps> my told boat. You? I love my boat. Look right. at this. I draw my boat. No. I was dreaming about my boat. I guess yeah, I yeah. Look at my boat. Okay. I'm a freaking masterpiece artist. That's some Picasso Thank right there. Considering my piece job. Some Picasso really boat. I'm gonna name it boat. Oh. Huh? I'm sure a little mess of color. Throw? I don't want to throw it. Why did hey, I... we do not throw things in this house. She if yelled at me. If you're mad that you aren't good enough yet, you'll just have to keep working at it. <laughs> yeah, you know, man. one day you'll be able to paint exactly what you have in your head. Where are you even you'll talking to me from? You'll be a real artist. I just hear a disembodied like voice. 
<laughs> it's Marguerite. <laughs> Open. See? That used to be my piano. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. God, he made me practice so much. I hated it at first. I can play chopsticks. I think he hoped to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Never said anything, though. He was what you might call the strong, silent type. Can you believe I grew up in the snow? And I came all the way out here to the beach. I don't even know how I got here. Your dad got his job and I just came with him. Like a human suitcase. A human suitcase. My sippy hey, cup Danny. is green. I Are wanted my blue one. Really special. I just don't want him to get attached. Mm, open it. What is that? Oh, what? It's, it's a scrawny little see. cat with one yeah, eyeball. What's wrong with that? Hey, look at going. this, look at the... I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? Look at the Sims! No. We'll find somebody to take him. But, while he's here, I say we call him Ernie. <laughs> Little Ernie. Fits him, doesn't Erdy? it? Ernie? His name is Ernie? He's so sweet. I think someone likes his new cat. Richard. What? His cat. <laughs> it's my cat. <laughs> yeah, I just mean, for now. It's my cat. Right. I believe that. What? I know where this is going. For now, honey. My cat. But another thing I'll just say quickly. You build up a resistance to allergies over time. So what you're allergic to now, like that's why an allergy shot to give you what you're allergic to. So he's like a human allergy shot full of love with one eye. Just considering. Full of love so, with one eye. A month from now, he's going to be sleeping on my pillow and I'm not going to be breathing. No, you'll You'll be breathing because you'll develop a tongue. That cat looks like he's just said that. Katay! Katay? Katay? Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Katay, we're going to play some music. You ready? Yes. We think of that. And then you tell us. There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? That's where I get Now, what about C minor? You remember how to play that one? This one over here. Very good! Dun, 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 Just dun. one note different. But that one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. <gasps> sort of like me and your little friend on your piano there. Look here, sir, Erty. Wait, Mr. One Eye, we're gonna get you a pirate patch. You want a little pirate patch? It's cute, look at them, it's cute. What's this? She was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just pray to God I can somehow keep up. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes, you know, which I very quickly lost. Very quickly lost. God, she dragged me to so many places. Are they freaking wonderful. Egypt? Where would you want to go? If you could only go to one. Where the hell are they at now? Greece? Well, just remember to put on sunscreen. 
<laughs> Man, I gave you some unfortunate genes, didn't I? Luckily, Mom gave you some good ones, so, yeah, let's hope they balance each other out. Yes, my piano! Where's my kitty? Kitty! Oh, let's go to the big piano now. We's, we's going to the big boy piano. That's right. We upgrading. We're going to play some Mozart. Yeah! Oh my god, I can't leave the ride. Wait, is that... That's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Richard? Are you hearing this? What? He's playing my piece. He must have figured it out by ear. I mean, I was a gifted kid, but... Look at him. What are you doing there, sir? Oh, yes. Let's tease the oh, kitty. I have my interview in five tease the kitty. Feed him. Get him. Tease him. That's the kitty. Tis, 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 tis. Yes. Cause what's this? Ooh, what's the yarn? I don't want to do that. I draw the kitty. Oh, I already did. Oh my god. Yes. For a moment, I forgot what a great food? father you are. Focus on the interview, honey. I got Look this. Look at this. I'll tease the kitty. You want to tease the kitty? His them's cute. I need a plushie. Look, I drew them. He's even got an X for an eye. Tease, 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 tease. Let me eat my beans and my peas. I got peas and carrots. I don't know what that is, and I think that's mashed taters. Excuse me, of course, sir. It's all organized into folders. Oh, look, the look, kitty grew up. He's a big kitty now. Let's draw a big kitty. What could possibly happen to the file between now and tomorrow? Ah, my drawings are getting better. Oh, the kitty just peed on the table! Kitty, don't do that! Bad kitty. Bad kitty peeing on the table. That's rude. Bad. Bad kitty. Bad. Don't blink your one eye at me. It looks like you're winking. When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised. Well, you don't want to play with us no more? To you too big? You too old for this? You, 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 you too old, kitty? I guess that's true. Don't go to your head. Yeah. What happened to your ex? Now you just got a, a line. Cat, no. It's time to use the litter box, though. Baby steps. He's got one eye. Will you wake up, cat? I'm trying to play with you. Why you look sad in my drawing? You're just sleeping. Eat your skeddy. Dad, wake him up. Who's on the laptop over there? This is called a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost <laughs> in the music. Funny squeebo, funny. I want you to funny. start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. And he said, Yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I could live on through that as well. <laughs> no such. I haven't seen him in over 10 years. Can you believe that? I wonder if he'll even recognize me. Welcome home, Dad. Y'all just jealous y'all don't have access to Diablo 2 before your eyes. That's all. Don't be jealous. What's going on here? 
I'm slowly approaching the phone. Why was I getting dark? I don't know. Don't get dark. I can't see. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Subdivide the time. 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e and a 1 e and a 2 e and a 3 e and a 4 e. You're off. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that? How am I off? I was following along. That was rude. There you go, buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it. Just like that. Where am I firm and gripping what? Oh my! Well, don't think you like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L. So we can photograph you. Yeah, turn around, L. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first, but if you keep going back out there every day, you'll be surprised by how much it changes. Look at the piano all covered in crap. How am I supposed to play piano when it's all covered in crap? Clean that thing off, ma'am. Look at that old TV. What was that? A dead fish? Oh. Oh no, lost cat Ernie. Ernie, come back home! Ernie, Ernie! Buddy! Ernie! Ernie! Ernie, we need you! Oh my god, Elle, what if he got eaten by a coyote? My sinuses would be eternally indebted. What? What if he got eaten say? by a coyote? No, I, I said I'm really worried. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! God, no! Buddy, I'm worried too. That's so rude. Oh, know, sweetie. What Ernie? if you got eaten by a coyote? How about that? So you you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But Ernie's a boy. And you're sure about that? Ernie is not a boy. I thought it was. Uh-huh. And that was based on... Yeah. I'm still not understanding how <gasps> you let this happen. I don't know. Just look at the little, look at the, about it. Look at the little butts up in the air. You just happen to little find kitten a straight butts. cat in the alley. Keep it even though I hate cats. And now it just happens to pop out five more. Lord, now we got five cats, Sorry, six cats. You cats. That's how it works. For a professor of signs and symbols, you're really bad at reading them. Okay, that that's fine. That's really witty. He keeps coloring the grass blue, the ocean green, and then the sky red. And what's wrong with that? No, are you kidding? I love it. I got a racetrack, sucker. I know y'all jealous of my racetrack. I go boom, do a little bit of my room is uh, growing. Visit Australia's poster. I got a stegosaurus over there. A little blue one. I know y'all jealous of my stego. And I got triceratops. And I got a velociraptor. And I got... Uh, I got... Um, I don't even know. Hmm. Oh, late night snacks. Why am I up in the middle of the night? There ain't nothing to see here. Why is the darkness creeping up on me like that? No! Get to the door! Get to the door! Don't let the darkness eat your soul. So creepy sounding, like all squelches and and like, like pop noises behind me. Is 
there anything in here? Or I guess I just need to click. I know. It seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex. But just take it one day at a time. Trust me. Getting there, honey. Next week we'll start working on your other hand. Do, 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 do. Look, I got a little pumpkin. I got a little pumpkin, y'all. So jewelies. It's Halloween. Look, I got little bats. I got a little, got a little bats all over. Okay. Two brackets on each side. Mm -hmm. Two screws on each bracket. That's right. Chris said, find the zero, and he just drew an arrow pointing to it. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I mean, everything is wrong with that. Are we remodeling the kitchen? We got a new fridge with a little ice maker on it? Mm-hmm. That's life right there. Gotta have the ice. I remember when I first moved here, there was no ice maker. First thing I did was bought an ice maker. Can't live life without ice. That's a terrible life. I want that box full by no, the don't give away my toe. You better keep the blue stego and my little boat. You better keep these. You can have the rest, all right? But my blue stego and my boat better stay, okay? Me and this boat, we popped bubbles together for many a year, and, all right? And Mr. Blue Stego has, has scared off all the monsters. All right, don't be taking away speed. my blue stego. I got a surfboard now. Look at that. I got a Rubik's Cube. Is that a CD player? I got a CD player. And a dartboard. Oh, look, I got one of them stupid IMAX. <laughs> and what is that with the with the afro on top? Is that one of them, like, Chia Pet things? Uh oh, new girl moved in. This gonna be some 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 whole crap right here. Fall back, you fool! I'll have your head. I'll feed them to the cat. Don't feed them to the cat. The cat will get indigestion. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come over here. Yes, Mr. Camera Boy, I'm talking to you. Yes, Mr. Camera Boy. Man, if I could walk any slower, I don't know. Why are know. you always out here taking photos? I don't know. You know if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Chloe! Oh, shoot. I think I gotta go, but... Um, try to take a photo of me running into my house. I'm pretty fast, so I don't think you'll be able to. But you can try. What the hell? How did he do that? Gotcha. Uh-oh. Quiet, everyone. It's a recital. Do-do-do-do. Wow, L, he's unbelievable. My God, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Didn't you used to be a composer yourself, L? No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but I haven't done that in years. Not since he was four or five years old. And, and what do you do, Richard? He's a professor. Of what? Well, no one really knows. No, I mean, what's his feel? Uh, it's maritime archaeology. Ah, very cool. Mm. But no one really knows what it means. Mm. Unknown legend. <laughs> it's kind of one of those professions that stops a dinner party short. Oh, yeah. Okay, more wine? I'll have a little more wine, please. Yeah, what a shock. Hey, 
in my boat. Uh, the class is world history. Oh, Lord, I'm in school. What's up, Mr. Isaac? Hey, you. Look on your desk. I wrote you something. Dear Weird Neighbor Kid. We are in the same class. What a coincidence. Please keep in mind that while we're at school, we don't know each other. Do not talk to me ever. This Love, Chloe. I want each of you to write it down. Not doodle on the sidelines. Not stare off into space. The neighbor wrote me a, a letter, and the, the, the beginning of the letter was, Dear Weird Neighbor Kid. With some little flowers. Now, I will go on to the next slide. <laughs> Chloe! Tell me, what did the quote say? Um, right, I definitely know this. You were taking notes, weren't you, Chloe? Oh, yes, of course. Come on, dude. Help me out. Um, it's that people who are in the past always remember... I don't know what I'm saying. Those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. And what's a better illustration of this point than Chloe's pathetic performance right there? If we do not keep an accurate account of the past, we are destined to embarrass ourselves in all sorts of ways. Dang, Mr. Now, Isaac, don't be rude. to what you've all been waiting for. Mm -hmm. Great. Assessments. 60%. Those are tests and quizzes. Class work. 20%. That's work we do while at class. Participation. 20%. I will give you a moment to write this all down. I wrote it down. It's been ridded. It's been ridded. I tried to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. I half suspect he bought it for himself. Oh, did you get me a game console? The little guys are pretty cute, though. What is this, a Dreamcast? Oh, Playscape. Conch... Conchsters. <laughs> Dude, a new conch testant has approached. At long last, your favorite conchsters are ready for battle for the Playscape. Join Marcy and her four sad brothers as they search for their lost mother, the legendary Queen Conch. Entrap gooey monsters with Dr. Ebb's patented seashells and coerce them into spectacular battles. Bare Knuckles, or Barn, barn Knuckles, <laughs> Shrump, Lobstar, and Clam Dunk. We better play this game. Let's go. I've seen you next door, but I didn't realize you guys had become friends. Oh, sure. We sit together in history class. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Very sweet. My name is Thanks Benny. For playing his game with him. Your dad just thanked me for hanging out with you? That's a very interesting detail. Okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. Pickle really stick, gill net, fishing spear, Maybe use bait. Use tickle stick. Let's draw a lobster. Whoa! That's a pretty good drawing. You should draw pictures of more different stuff. Let's Not me, though. Not you? Oh, I should oh. kill you if you try to draw me. Oh, yeah, you we're drawing what you. I'm of draw you know. anyway. <laughs> Benny, why did you draw me? You're not good enough. I look so ugly. Ugh. That's right. Negative 24 damage. Oh my god, you killed the lobster and his eyes turned to X's. Like my drawing. Leave that poor lobster alone. What did he. Oh, look, some bagel bites. Babe, look, we got bagel bites. <laughs> she said, them shits are good. Every kid's after school snack is bagel bites. Look, I got a little cat eraser. Look at my little cat eraser. called a magnet school. Burton Conservatory of Music. Burton? I 
know the change can be Since its founding in 1894 by Colwyn Garrett, Burton Art Preparatory has a single mission to offer gifted children and adolescents the opportunity to realize their highest potential. I used to love looking out the window when I was a kid, just staring out the window, looking at things pass. I always thought it was so fun. Guess I'm going to be a genius. So what do you think, Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? Did you just call Sorry, me Benjamin? Very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? We'll get a few pieces that you can have him start learning. I'm eager to hear what your son is capable of. Hmm. Why is your mouth so, still moving? I understand you were a musician yourself. Where did you study? Oh, Berkeley. But I was in the composition department. Ah, uh, and who did you study under? John McDonald. Hmm. I understand he's very difficult. Yes. Taciturn is the word I use. Taciturn. This is what it's like being a kid in an adult conversation. You have no clue what they're way, talking about. You can believe it. Oh, yes, Taciturn. Oh, yes, he's such a punk. You. Thank you. I wouldn't either. <clears throat> you seem very warm. Very caring. Bach. The well-tempered caviar, 48 preludes and fuges. As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there, and a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no pressure, I just want you to try, and we can see if you start enjoying it. Just like to see you really rise to the occasion, just this once. I wish I had the option of going to a school like that when I was your age. I wouldn't be working this boring job or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. What was that? Was that the piece? What is going on with you these days? I didn't I mean barely to do know that. Kid you're supposed to be. Throw it at the back of her head. Remember, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Days until audition 30. There's a cell phone there. I got a cell phone? Don't answer that, Ben. You can talk to your friend after you practice. No, I'm answering the phone. Give me the phone. Mm. Oh my god. Is she really calling you again? What, is she obsessed with you? What's up, Chloe? What are you doing? I explicitly asked you not to pick up the phone. Oh, he's fine. Let's talk to her. Oh, what do you know about anything that's going on right now? Okay, you know, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't raise your voice like that. Well, then don't stick your nose into things that you're completely checked. Anubis. Anubis, in the presence of Ma'at, who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, would weigh the deceased soul against a feather, determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. And what if they are deemed unworthy? Well, you can see that ugly fur ball under the scale. That hmm. is Mr. Kid. Got Over here. Yes, that's a sheep. That's the head of a crocodile. You look, babe, dear weird lion. neighbor kid. See? Look. And the body of a hippopotamus. Huh? Though I would not say that to nothing. her face. Now, Tonight, after my dad goes to sleep, I'm going to sneak out my house and go to sleep to on the beach. If you want to get invited, do not pass judgment. draw me a picture of Mr. Isaac sort of feeling like constipated. <laughs> Love, weird neighbor kid. Okay. So sure why Mr. Isaac, let's go. Right oh, look at that fucking turds. Hey, hold on. There you go, right there. <laughs> Ew, why is he so I'm gonna get in trouble for this one. I'm going to jail. Okay, I'll call you when I'm leaving. 
Why are we worried Days about until audition two? one. Just as he's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for him. Okay, listen, I don't claim to understand the motives of children. Richard! Benny has a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean, this is no offense at all. But I don't think you actually really understand what that is. Huh. What? Yes. Yeah, I guess a little bunny lamp. Lights out. You mm. need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory Nancy? consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. Don't tell me what to do. Tell your son to turn the lights off. You're not my mom. Hey, mom says turn the lights off. Not mom says, you say. Benny, I say turn the lights off. Not just mom. I got a lava lamp though. I know y'all jealous of my lava lamp. Man, this is a hard one. I kind of want to go uh, hang out with my my, my neighbor, my weird neighbor kid, but uh, I also kind of want to make sure I get some sleep for audition tomorrow. Let's sneak out. Let's go, Chloe. I'm a sticky for a baby. I apologize. Okay, so meet me out in the alley in T minus now. Okay? Chloe, out. You know, I'm really glad you're here. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. What do you mean talking to me about? to get off my chest. I don't think Conksters is actually a really good game. My cousin Yoon, he was in town this weekend, and he was explaining how it's actually a ripoff of a really good Japanese game. He calls it a cash grab. So I'm sorry that I made you like it because it's actually a terrible game. But I also think that if it was a really good game, maybe we wouldn't have enjoyed playing it as much. We would have been so focused on how good it was, and not the feelings we had while we were playing it. Like, my favorite vegetable is the tomato, but Yoon thinks that they're the grossest ever. And you're probably the least popular boy in the school, but I also like hanging out with you the most. Least popular boy in the school. I I like hanging out with you a lot, which is weird because after what happened with my mom, I never like hanging out with anyone. So this has been a big surprise for me this year in a lot of ways. I think I like that you let me talk. My cousin never lets me talk. My dad does, but I can tell he's not really listening. What am I doing? Stay here. Huh. Oh, I didn't, Bobby didn't sleep at all. Out in the cold all night. You're already feeling sick, aren't you? It's okay, you still got this. I mean, all the practice had to count for something. Maybe just try and close your eyes now and get a little sleep on the way over. I'm going to play the recording so the sound of mastery can seep into your subconscious a little, okay? Close your eyes, Ben. I'm going to be there soon. Um. Well, In your I'm own sleepy. Time, Benjamin, we are very excited to hear. Yes, very excited to hear. Oh, great.
I stayed up all night, so I'm probably going to play terrible. I think that's enough. So, Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again, once you've had a bit more time to practice, yes? As you know, Burton isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path, wherever it may take you, okay? All right. I, I really want to thank you and your mother for coming all the way out here. I know it was quite the drive. They'll think I made the right choice. I know she's gonna Maybe be disappointed. That's for dang sure. Maybe I turned into my own father. I don't know. You have to find something to focus on. The world isn't very kind to people who aren't really good at something. You know, you don't have to be the best at everything. You don't have to be the best at, uh, at something. You just need to try your best. If you don't put your best into it, we want him home from school for a while. Point? Just until this nasty thing clears. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh, yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny, okay? Just maybe five minutes, kiddo, okay? Five minutes? This is a crucial time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah, look, having him home for low means I can spend more time with him. You know? We can focus him, make sure he's staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? Can we? Oh, wow. It's pretty. My backpack. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Productive. <gasps> My boat. Yeah, buddy, here comes the boat. Burn, 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 Got my boat. Let's go, boat. Yes, look at my boat. Well, I know y'all's jealous of my boat. That's Bodie. You know we're gonna we're gonna paint Bodie. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at Bodie now. I know y'all jealous of that Bodie. Look, I got a Wacom board. And Mr. Benjamin Brin has been awarded first place. 
See, Bodie. Everybody loves Bodie. Okay. Everybody loves Bodie. Art school application. Lord, I can't ever just do something. If I play the piano good, mom wants to send me to piano school. If I play, if I draw good, mom wants to send me to art school. Can't ever just just do something for fun. You are not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. And although I was hired to teach you, it is a sham. There is no teaching art. So don't just sit there slack, Jod. Make art, you ponies. Oof. Y'all jealous of my skull? That's a good skull. I, I drew a, a mighty fine skull, and I know y'all's jealous of that. And my fruit is looking a mighty shiny. That's some shiny fruit. Oh, Lord. I don't want to draw you, naked boy. Oh, how very wacky and fun these are. I'm gonna draw you all, all weirdified. Hold on. Uh, which one? No. Oh, yep, there we go. That's perfect. Perfect. It's very zany. And you're gonna get very a skull cute. right there over your, your jank. Lucky for you, the world is always in need of more greeting card and artists. You go, and you're gonna get one of them. And you're gonna get a little fruit thing, a little vase. Perfect. Amazing. Some cubism. There you go, Mr. Brin. Feel each shape. Perfect skull. Oh, you fiend. You're jealous. I want you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. You see. He has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. I pray you have a strong hold on yourself, Mr. Brin. For I fear with talent like these, you may soon be swept away by a whirlwind. <laughs> a Picasso. Exactly, Raven. They are no longer touching the ground. Oh, I'm floating now. Okay. Well, let's go. I won't float. Benjamin Brin. The ironic sincerity of this piece is so sincerely ironic. He split the discourse so thoroughly, I'm actually dizzy. Don't be jealous of my skull. That is an expert skull. I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards, and it all probably feels weird and alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I can teach you one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, you open the door. Making a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. Oh yeah, y'all jealous of this in a waste bin. That's right. Look like some little Chinese ramen noodles. Stunning. I've never been prouder. One little thing. A birdie told me that Elba Preston Uber gave you her card. Now I want you to cut that card into little pieces and feed it to an alley cat. Elba Preston Uber is not in the business of the arts. Elba is in the business of business and you child you are no business man you are an artist live like one don't worry 
You're not selling your soul. Uh, I mean, the whole starving artist thing is a bit overdone. What do you think, babe? Should I sign a contract and get money for my art, or should I be a starving artist? Apparently, I'm old enough to sign contracts. Can I read it? No. So I should just be a starving artist? Alright, I'm signing the contract. I'm gonna be faint. Oh, I didn't mean to crumple You've it. Crumpled my contract. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I chose from. <laughs> uh, whatever you want, kid. Sure, you got talent. But what's talent? Okay, that's it. Get out of my office. You know I'd call security if I thought you were actually a threat. But what are you going to do? Paint me to death? <laughs> Sounds like a plan. To being a difficult artist, the best of us are. Blink. Ah, this is divine. So, now that you've grown your wings, tell me, young master, where will you fly? May I suggest somewhere abroad? This American air can be stifling. Ah. Now I take it. If we both only get appetizers, I can afford to go Dutch. Otherwise, I thank you for the dinner. Mm. Honey, stop. Is that a... Is that a Benjamin Oh my god. I think it is. Of all places. I like it. I like it. I know y'all's jealous. I like it. I bet you're happy you threw that contract in her face now. You didn't sell out, and you still got rich. <laughs> oh, but listen to me, Benjamin. Now is the single most important moment in your entire career. Collectors, curators. How we all love a rising star, and how bored we become once it's settled. Keep captivating brand reinvents and reinvention, and then reinvents it again. Art times. If you have eyes, you will love this show. If you have eyes. <laughs> hey Ben, don't even pick up this call, okay? I mean it. I'm just calling to inform you that I went. To Look at my little zebra drawings. I like this one. I like that one. Huh? Uh, really, I I don't want you worrying about it at all. You're such Oh, Benny, I told you not to pick up. There's nothing you can do for me right now. All you can do is just keep painting, keep striving. You make that work of true genius. I can just tell you're almost there. So I'm going to hang up the phone now, and you, you're, you're just going to get back to work, okay? Look at my masterpiece. I know you're jealous. But, that's enough from me. Now, you'll hear from the person who I believe is the single thing in the world my wife is most proud of. Her. Magnum Opus. So to speak, huh. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Benny, you ready to come up here? Oh. 
Hmm. Go on, B. Say something. What's wrong? Why aren't you talking? I talk to big, very important people every day. And there's one thing that everybody is asking me. What's going on with Benjamin Brin? And what am I supposed to say? That I haven't heard from my star pupil in six months? This is getting ridiculous. You are a snake. You are a fraud. But worst of all, Benjamin, you're a little tease. I have told the world that Benjamin Brain is a genius. I have told the world that Benjamin Brain is silent because Benjamin Brain is hard at work creating his greatest work yet. But you are doing nothing! The world has forgotten you, Benjamin! They have moved on! And I... I have moved on too. Hey, B. Just calling to tell you. I think I'm selling the house. She's everywhere here, son. I can't move without bumping into her. And then I just find myself breaking down again. I hope you understand. Take whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> My booty! My uh, booty boots! I'm just so glad you guys Keep in the boat. Last time. Keep in the boat. I know Keep she told you not to pick up the phone. <laughs> Well, I'm just keeping so happy. the music manuscript. No, you better let me keep what I want to keep. That? That's so fascinating, son. Wow, that's really cool. I like it. That's pretty good. I like that. I like that a lot. Look. It's unbelievable, Benny. It's like she's standing in the room with us. Like I can see her in the paint. I can feel her. A passing day. Inspired by the musical composition of his late mother, the composer Ellie Stevens, Sam, relatively it's unknown it's in her life, and Bryn lifted his neighbor. mother's work out of some obscurity with the My creation God, of this piece. This. She is now considered years. to be one of the greatest composers of her time. I just show. It's unbelievable. I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down for that. I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. I should have guessed it. I mean, with all those little drawings you did. Remember when you still drew my portrait even when I begged you not to? That's right. God, you were such a little jerk back then. Jerk, that's right. I kept that drawing, you know? Good, it's oh worth God, millions of dollars. Quite a bit of money now. Billions. Billions. And your mom. I always heard her playing piano from next door. 
but I didn't know she wrote the actual music. She was a genius. Like mother, like son, I guess. That's right. Hey, yes. So Bodhi! Forward, but what are you doing after this? Bodhi. Maybe we could get a drink or something? Are you even looking at my Bodhi painting? This is... This is the PSL de resistance, okay? This is Bodhi. All right? We pop bubbles together in the bathtub, and I have honored him with a painting. All right, Bodhi. You're not even looking at Bodhi. You're looking at me. Look at Bodhi. Rude. I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. Now, would you look at that? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. Bodhi. Where are you at, Wolf? You finally hit the jackpot, Flapjack. All oh, the nobody nothings dying every day. You finally sink your hook into a. Oh, well, there you are. Well, hell look at all the little evil seagulls just, just lined up in a row. Would have cleaned up. I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but whew, an internationally renowned painter? <laughs> the gatekeeper's gonna eat you up. Hey, speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you help me out with the word choice, since, you know, I'm still working on that. See if I'm getting all the strokes right, the proper composition if you catch my drift <laughs> okay forget about it all right here we go gatekeeper before you stands the soul of a great man now would you describe yourself as a, a happy kid or a lonely one happy I had a Bodie. Childhood was I had a, a weird neighbor one, kid. Growing up in a loving home raised by and I had a one eye cat. In a quaint village by the sea. And uh what'd you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. Right. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Mm. Kind of like your champion or, or more like a taskmaster. Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was ever encouraging, teaching him to recognize the greatness within. How about that neighbor girl? Huh? What was she to you? Was she your best friend or first love? My first love! But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his first love. That's right. Blowing it the next day. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick. And he had to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten. Painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school. Exclusive. Where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. Now be quiet, Paul. With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing. 
For it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said shut up, you, you scum goes, you mucky fowls. All right, I get it. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. assumed as much anyway. I should probably tell you, those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Oh, yeah, good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Hopefully, you won't be seeing him again. Am I gonna turn into a liar gull? Sap, you know that? Just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. Where am I even going? I'm scared. I'm gonna turn into one of them little trash gulls. Now don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. But it's too late for that. We're in this together. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm gonna ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time, I want the truth. Okay. Not this. Now play the same major chord I taught you. Remember? Come on, keep blinking. I, I, I haven't found it yet. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, he only... This. Stay here. What did your mother hear on that phone call? What did she hear on the phone call? When she died, she probably got cancer or something. Am I supposed to click on it? Keep your eyes open. I need to see. Don't touch anything. This is Elle, his daughter. <gasps> oh! 
Oh. Oh, what is it? She knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. Let's keep going. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? You were a prodigal talent. I get it. Let's move. This will be eternally indebted. What did you just say? This isn't a trip down memory lane. I... Yes, I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. Kittens! No kittens! Kittens! I was wondering about these in, these little things right this. Where it seemed like I should have been able to see what was on the other side, but I couldn't. See, now I'm really curious what's on the other side. I was curious before, now I'm even more curious. Death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson that simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work to make yourself sensational. All the kittens got eaten by coyotes. <sighs> Are freaking awful. I like hanging out with you a lot, which is weird because. I know you want to stay here, man, but we don't have the time. So this has been a big surprise for me this year. I'm not worried about who you are, Benny. I'm worried. Hey, Elle, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? This Come on, keep blinking. I we can focus in. Make sure he's staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? I mean, what's the point? What do you mean? What's the point? What does that mean? What's the point of any of it? If he's never going to get any better. Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something like that? I'd never forgive myself. Yeah, I. It's okay. He's asleep. But it's okay. I see. You got sick. You howled at the moon, at the top of your lungs. You were sick for a long time, weren't you? Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. We're all... Alright, I want to play some games. This is video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Try writing with it.
Hi, Mom. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. Mm-hmm. So artsy. <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. Why don't you write the story of your life so far? Story and of my what life. You do once you get bring better. you home. That's a story I, I had remember. a cat with just one eye. Story of who you're going she to She had okay? kittens. Meow, 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 meow. The Great Life of Benjamin Brinks. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home. Raised by loving parents. From a quaint village by the sea. His mother was... Well, okay. Man, this is wild. You really got into this, didn't you? Oh, here I am. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. First love? Okay, Benny. And you know, we really could have just slept on the beach another night, but I'm also glad we didn't because, well, another night wouldn't be the same night, if that makes sense. Okay, uh, back to the story. He'd love finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. Man, you take your doodle seriously. I did not realize, but I respect it. You are going to be in there for about 30 minutes, so try to get comfortable. Doing great, buddy. Just a little longer, okay? What do I got like leukemia or something? I seem to be really sick. They're talking about how I was really sick as a kid, and I've been really sick for a long time. And now I'm in a MRI machine. I'm in, I'm in bed a lot too. I You're noticed. Be so annoyed with me, but you better give me my video game. Over here, Chloe, reading loud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know. I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know, I'm such a big fan of anything you do. I can't. I ain't reading my story about my cat. Go to bed. I'll talk to you. Hey, B. Just want you to know that Mom loved your story. She's just, you know, I, th I think it was just very emotional for her to read. But I, I thought it was great. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home, raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. <laughs> Certainly glad you feel that way. But what I want to know is, where'd you learn to write so well? All those cool words! It reads like Dickens! <laughs> really just very cool stuff, kiddo. You should be very proud, okay? Okay. Love you, buddy. Try it. Let's write a, a, a sci-fi. How about that? 
Benjamin Bricks was a loser. He was the worst Bryn to ever live. He didn't even try to fight the disease inside him. He just laid down and died. Dartboard. So if he's ever in... Oh, if he's ever if he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand it hits mothers the hardest this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been uh, It's been a rough one. Dang, I got a button for administering pain drugs. Eat my sandwich, take my pills, drink my juice, hit my button. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. Yeah, no, that's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. Yes, I understand you have a business to run. It's a very <laughs> cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. Okay, well, well then I guess all I can say is screw you too. I said, screw you too. Yeah, man, that's all I got. Dang, okay. What's up, Chloe? Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I happen to actually know about this stuff. So the fact that you are faking just so you don't have to go to school with me is actually ridiculous. I don't know if you're embarrassed about our night at the beach together so you're avoiding me or what, but... I just wanted to call to say I really don't appreciate being lied to. And it's not that I need your help in history class, you know. I actually never needed your help in history class. And I just pretended because you were clearly really lonely and you had no friends. And it was my New Year's resolution to be nicer to people. So, I just wanted to say that you've reminded me why I wasn't nice to people in the first place. And I wish I never met you. And goodbye forever. That is just the rudest. Like, I'm literally dying here. 
And you just, that, that is, you know what, let's just put that down. I remember when you were just four years old, mom was going through a pretty tough time. I mean, not as tough as now, but yeah, our music had been rejected and she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here. And I feared that yeah, I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano, and just your little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. Hmm. Wait, is that? That's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Better leave me alone. I'm trying to play a piano. Keep playing, B. She's listening. It's a nice song. I'm guessing that that uh, blob represents death. My Katai! What's up, Katai? Mr. One Eyed Cat. Do 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 do. You looking a little ragged there, buddy. What are you doing, Al? She's gonna make you sick. Oh, it's okay. I'm just so happy she's here. Get well soon. Some real love. That looks like a card you would give somebody. Get whale soon. Oh, her poor fur. Richard, we have to give Ernie a haircut, okay? I'm getting her a sashimi plate. What? What? I think she more than deserves it. Oh, I think you're right. What's up, Ernie? Come sit with us here on the tum tums. Go down over here on the tum tums. Come here. She don't listen. Cats do what they won't do. Oh lord. Cat, chase away the demons. Chase away the demons, cat. Chase away the demons. She hasn't been over. Like, she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with... Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Check the okay, book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey. Interesting. Hold on just a second. I get a little bit of lag on the stream here. I don't know why. But someone else has got to lower the bit rate. Take me like two seconds. I think 4,500 should be more than enough. Okay, that'll fix it. Oh my god, you're an idiot. I'm literally dying, Chloe, and you're so rude to me all the time, and I don't know why. You're not sick. No, you don't got leukemia. You're not dying in bed. And you're so rude. You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. I, um, 
I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day and how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that. But... Hey! What are you looking at? The stars. Don't look up there. Look at me. I'm talking to you. I want to give you something, but I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. Uh -huh. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. Close your eyes now, okay? There. They closed. And they're open. Dear Weird Neighbor Kid, again. Why am I the Weird Neighbor Kid? You are my first love. Love, Chloe. Oh my god, eat the sandwich! Eat the sandwich! Oh, come on, you gotta take more than one bite. That's not how this works. You can't just be taking one bite of a sandwich. You can't just be taking one sip of a drink either. You gotta eat. You need to fight. What is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again? Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. What do you like about it? Ah, uh, not this old trap. Go on. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> I'm waiting. Well, it made me feel like... Like... Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed, maybe it's not so unspeakable. Yeah. Nailed it, didn't I? Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good. <laughs> Way to go. You didn't fall for the trap. And hey, what's up, Silver Aku? I'm not sure what to do with my life. Be brave, little hearts. Lord, no, everything is disappearing. Don't. I need to see stuffs. Go away, evil red cloud. Go away, evil red cloud. No. I'm going to eat my sandwich. I'm going to drink my stuff. No, don't tell me what to do. No. Eat the food. Eat it. Press the button. It's okay, Benny, I understand. There's no need to show me anymore. No, Richard, it's like I can't breathe. Like there's this clamp on my chest. I know. It's okay. You can come back to me now. You have to do something. Richard, I can't breathe. I feel like I can't breathe. It's okay, Benny, just close your eyes. You know, for a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Ugh. Eh, he threw away his thesaurus. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. I should go get ready. Don't worry. We got this. I think. I swear he sounds like Beetlejuice. He's even got that gruff, like, voice. Like the, like the gruffness to his voice.
It's Ernie, the one-eyed cat. There she is. Wish me luck. Gatekeeper, before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. That means she's ready to hear your story. Oh Lord, here we go. You know, I never told you how much I loved your story. Ernie. It's really so imaginative. And the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy. My only issue was, well, I didn't like him very much. So, I wanted to read you something I wrote for you, which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now. It's called The Great Life of Benjamin Brin. Mm, the Great Life of Benjamin, Benjamin Brin. Brin was mm. born into an ordinary home to an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So, when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live which only made him forget the great life he already had. How he had filled a new home with light and joy and promise. How he met a girl, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world. Weird neighbor kid. her feel okay again. And how, even when he was sick, he still gave his parents hope. How he reminded them exactly who they were after they had almost forgotten. What's up, Ernie? Somebody knew he was going to go. He was okay. Because he'd already lived a great life. A full life. And he was everything he needed to be. Just as he was. Ernie, you coming with me or no? Alright, we got things to do. She accepts. Close your eyes now and keep them closed. <laughs> She's gonna let you in. Go on. Why is he smiling like that? He must be somewhere that he likes. Before your eyes. It was definitely an interesting game. I mean, I mean, they kind of took you on like a little ride there. You know, first they you're an artist and uh, you drew you draw on boaties and like Picassos and jank, and then come to find out that it was just all a story that you had written. So you were like a pretty amazing uh, writer, and then you know, then come to find out you didn't even make it out of uh, being sick. You died. So you you didn't just stay in the bed for a year you stayed in the bed for a year and then at the end of the year you you, you moved on that's really sad i mean they didn't really say what he was sick from they didn't really they didn't really specify i mean i would assume it was something fatal i mean it took a year for him to die so i'm assuming some sort of cancer maybe or i don't, I don't know but he made it into, uh, I guess, what what is uh, what heaven? That's a that's a whole game right there. Maggie Bacon Bradley. <laughs> Her middle name is Bacon. <laughs> that is amazing. I don't even know what to say about that other than that's just amazing. Change my middle name to Bacon. <laughs> Who doesn't want to have their middle name be Bacon? Ravenheart said a meatball wrapped in bacon. Thanks for playing. 
And we couldn't do it without viewers like you! <laughs> Yes, this was a very deep game, Silver Rocky. Oh, wait, is there anything left? That's why I was waiting. I was waiting until the end to see if there's anything after the credits. Doesn't look like it. Amters. Fishing for souls, the day begins, growing pains, meeting Chloe, a real musician, the big decision, the makings of a career, Ellie's masterpiece, the ferryman's questions, the ferryman's search, the truth, pain, and the great life of Benjamin Brin. Interesting. Alright, ladies and germs. Um, like I said, I'm going to be on a little bit later. We're going to be streaming some Diablo, so if you want to tune in for that. I'm going to take a quick break. You guys can take a quick break. We're all taking quick breaks. And uh, I'll be back. Little 